Hi, it's me, Dan, from The Gringo Show, and I apologize for not getting the road trip video out uh, sooner. Um, again, it's medical issues. It's the whole breathing thing going on. But, hey, we're doing good, um, so thank you for all your well wishes. I really appreciate that. Our road trip took us from Colorado to Pittsburgh, and the reason for the road trip is my uh, youngest son, Danny, wanted to go to uh, tour the University of Chicago and Carnegie Mellon. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to test out the 2022 uh, Tesla Model X uh, for a family uh, road trip. Um, I have to say there were a couple of issues and that's in another video, which uh, I guess I posted someplace and I'll try to figure out YouTube and I don't know, put a card or a link so you can see it. Um, but overall, I have to say our road trip was, it was fantastic. It was phenomenal. Um, yeah, there were some technical issues, but you know what? Driving 12 hours a day did not feel like driving 12 hours a day. Um, it was a really good trip. Uh, very comfortable. Um, they, you, you know, there was a couple of autopilot things, which, ah, what can you do? Um, it's learning just like I'm learning the car. So one of the things that I really wanted to look at was how much I was spending on supercharging. So I was able to break that down. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it up on the screen. I will try to get this up on the screen for you. But uh, supercharging, I have to say it was easy and it was pretty cheap. I so mean, one of the biggest things that I wanted to bring up in the video about our road trip is supercharging. We covered 3,000, just over 3,000 miles in nine days with four people. Uh, we did 22 supercharger stops, uh, two university tours, uh, seven hotels, um, and one Tesla. And it was, it was fantastic. So in our, our day one, uh, we went from, uh, from Colorado to, where did we get to? We got to Des Moines, Iowa. That was our first stop. Um, so we did three supercharging stops that day, one in Ogala, Nebraska, one in Grand Island, and one in Shelby. Uh, our total for the first day for supercharging was $64.19, and I'm going to put that breakdown on the screen so you can see how Tesla charges us differently at different superchargers, and it also charges us differently per minute. So, for example, in, in Grand Island, the first 15 minutes we were being charged at 14 cents a minute. And then uh, 11 minutes, it would go, then the next 11 minutes, it was 38 cents. And then like the last 28 minutes, it was 72 cents. So it was this sliding scale that was going back and forth. I'll, I didn't know about it. I mean, I I don't read forums or anything like that. I just watch videos and I'd never seen a video on that. So um, the whole sliding scale thing, that was new to me, but still $64.19. Uh, to go to Des Moines, Iowa, in my opinion, was was very cheap. All right, pretty cool. We made it to Olagala, and we're going to use our first supercharging. Let me see if I can get this going. It looks like that's working. I think negotiating. It's still blue. Don't know. Where are we? Olagala. There we go. It negotiated. And. What state is that? Nebraska. Up here at Grand Island has been fantastic. They got lots of things an Arby's, Little Caesars, Subway, gas station, good superchargers. Um, right off the highway. I like it. Only problem is the bathrooms are a little bit nasty but if you get by that yeah you know, you know, it's a good truck stop good good place for a supercharger very happy with it and uh, it is a supercharger we came in at four percent been here about 30 35 minutes and is now at 90 percent so on to the next one okay we got to Shelby we had about uh, 20 percent charge left and we hooked in there's a lot of Teslas here but we were able to hook in and we got uh, 146 kilowatts so we're putting on 
a 530 miles per hour that says it's going to take about 55 minutes to do a full charge we're not going to do a full charge um there's lots of teslas here we got uh, a lot of s's actually two s's a y uh, we are in shelby iowa it's not bad you got a you got uh you got a dairy queen and stuff across the street what else you got in here got a quick picks over there so day two we were going from De des moines iowa to chicago that's sort of when we had a, a few hiccups um but that complete day for supercharging cost us 32 dollars and 67 cents we did get some free supercharging at the urbandale uh service center so that's that's probably why it was less um on on day two then going into day three we were in chicago that was the day I spent in the, in the service center, and then we had the next day was a tour. So those, you know, that that those were were pretty much washed. We didn't have to charge there. Okay, so in Rolling Prairie, Indiana, at the supercharger here. So we're going to do our first supercharging. Um, would have been here a little bit earlier, but I got lost. So there you have it. This is a really nice one. Got a lot of things: Starbucks, lots of places to eat. Lots of empty superchargers right off the highway. Quite interested to see if we get any errors or anything after we supercharge. So we'll do that in just a few minutes and uh, we'll come back and see what happens. Okay, we've made it to Strongville, Ohio. We're still having uh, minor issues, sort of uh, little tiny, you know, messages pop up. Uh, right now we have a restraint error that keeps coming up. Um, what do we got over here? Let's look in the messages. Uh, dash cam too small. Cruise control will not break. Rear left safety restraint fault. Um, yeah, that one seems to be kicking the rear, rear left safety restraint system fault. That one seems to be now the prominent message. I did do a reboot uh, on the highway again just to see if that would clear anything it did not but uh still didn't affect the travel um this is strongsville let me get out and show you strongville supercharger strongville ohio you got a sheet which is pretty cool got lots of superchargers again now this one Oh, what's my screen doing in there? Nothing. Okay, I th it looked like it was going on and off. Um, it's a nice one. You know, clean, decent bathrooms, a little bit of food inside. So, so far all the superchargers we've been to have been pretty awesome. Um, all have good facilities. All are working. All the superchargers are working. So that's always a benefit. So 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 far so good okay so we're at the genoa ohio day five of our trip and uh we're just leaving toledo we're still getting errors on the computer when we supercharge so we'll see we'll connect to this it's uh another nice little supercharger i mean it's Got a lot of facilities here, bathrooms, places to eat, things like that. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm losing faith in everything. It says we're going to be here for about 20 minutes. So we'll see. We're about uh, oh, 1,500 miles into the trip. We're coming up to our last stop, which is Pittsburgh. Car's doing pretty well though. Four of us have been sitting in it comfortably, um, and I have to say I've done all but maybe three hours of driving this whole trip, and it really doesn't feel like it. Um, and it feels uh, like a dream driving this car on a road trip. It's 
it's relaxing, you know, three, four to 12 hours, no problem at all. Anyways, so this is the Genoa, Ohio supercharger. I'll let you know if we have any errors. It's getting a little chilly. Now I'm getting inside the car. Okay, so we're day five of our trip. We're halfway. Uh, we are in Pittsburgh. Yay! Well, just outside of Pittsburgh right now. We're in a place called Wexford. Um, well, my son and my wife are off at Carnegie Mellon for the tour. We are going to come here and charge. I'm here with Evie. Yay! Who's miserable, but she's still here. So we're going to charge up for a little bit, probably get enough charge for the next couple of days. We're, we're here until tomorrow, and then we start heading back to Denver. So we've had a few issues on the way here, um, which I'm going to put in the video. Uh, our issues are all are centered around when we supercharge. So what will happen is we'll start supercharging and then the computer goes crazy. And we have stopped off in, in Des Moines. We have stopped off in Chicago. Both of those service centers have looked at it. Um, they've upgraded the firmware. They've upgraded the software. They've been in touch with people from Fremont, uh, engineers in Fremont. Um, and we're still getting the errors. It hasn't stopped the car from driving. Uh, our, our experience has been wonderful. It's been a great drive, I have to say. There, there have been no uh, issues there. I've done a few soft reboots doing 75 miles an hour down the road. That seems to clear things up. Where we're at right now, as far as the problem, I spoke with uh, the service people on the, the messenger yesterday, and they said, we're going to have to take a look at the computer in the car. So if you're going to be in Pittsburgh for a few days, then maybe we can do it there, or you might want to wait until we get back. So I think we're going to wait until we get back to Colorado. Um, I have the car scheduled to get wrapped on the 28th, and then we're in Cancun. So I think this is going to probably not be resolved until the middle of April when we get back from, from Cancun and I'm able to get it up to Loveland. However, I got to say, car's running uh, as, as well as it can be. It has done uh, the 1,500 miles here very well. Um, so far, it's cost about $150 in supercharging to get from Denver, Colorado to Pittsburgh. So if you were to take that and put it into gas, I'm guessing it would be 10 times that amount um, to get here. I don't know. I'll see if I can do some research on that um, and see what the actual numbers are. But I'm going to take. I'm going to hazard a guess to say it would be 10 times more than the 150 uh, that we paid. So I'm going to get out, uh, show you the supercharger. We're going to charge up for a little bit because I got to pick them up in about a half hour. Okay, I'm going to go ahead right there and pause make this part one. So this is the end of part one. Um, it's getting kind of long and you know, I'm trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes. Um, that was our first 1500 miles that took us from Denver, Colorado, all the way to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, along with the, the problems that we had in there. Uh, you could see, you know, the arrows that were flashing overall, the supercharging experience was really good. Um, my only issue if anything would have been a better route planner was giving me one price for um, for supercharging. And then of course, Tesla was charging me something else. And as you can see on the screen, Tesla was charging me uh, different rates at different minutes, which I didn't know about. Again, uh, you know, I don't read forms or anything like that. If it's not on YouTube, I didn't believe it. Uh, anyways, so uh, that was something, but it was still cheaper. We paid $164.99 to get one way. Um, we would have paid uh, more than that if I were to drive my 2019 Ram uh, 1500 Limited. Uh, so we got a good deal. It was comfortable. Um, I enjoyed driving it. Again, I could drive that car for 12 hours a day, and it really doesn't feel like it. I can't explain it, but when we would get to our hotel every night, I'm not tired. I'm not stressed. I'm not... We, it was it it's a pleasure to drive it really is a pleasure to drive um even with the little uh, incidents that we're having so i'm going to put together part two which is going to be our trip from pittsburgh 
back to Denver. Uh, that's going to be a little bit quicker of a trip because we made one overnight stop in Indianapolis and we made one overnight stop in uh, in Omaha. And then from there, we straight shot it back to Denver. Uh, we didn't have any college tours or anything, uh, etc. So it was it was just boom. We're looking at the country. Uh, thank you again for watching the video. If you can like, uh, subscribe, make a comment. Uh, I am trying to get through all the comments. Uh, again, like I said, uh, a few medical issues which we're working through. So it's been slowing down uh, the production that I thought I would be able to get out. Um, I am doing uh, a couple of videos on the 0-60, to 60, which somebody asked me for. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a brief interior look around. There's some things that I found in there uh, in on the interior that I'm not quite happy with, but hopefully can be fixed. Uh, and any other videos that you're looking at, uh, you know, please shoot me a, a comment or send me an email. And, and again, in the next couple of weeks, I will get to those. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Um, so please remember that and remember peace. That's what we need right now. Love you all. I'll see you next time.